This world is full of ups and downs. It's the same everywhere. The kingdom of God here on earth is indeed divided. The kingdom of God is divided against the self. How can my humble background hinder my growth in the Lord? Everyone has a past. <sighs> it is the blessing of the Lord that makes us rich and adds no sorrow. Hmm. If you are good, you would have enemies. And if you are bad, <laughs> you would have enemies too, even though you are already a part of that evil kingdom. But one fact is sure, you have made the Lord God Almighty your arch enemy. And for every evil you commit continually, you are nailing our Lord Jesus Christ to the cross again and again. Hmm. Hmm. What a pity. You don't even know who to trust. We live every day. We sleep every day with one eye open. For how long will this continue? The greatest mistake you can ever make is to assume that you are loved by everyone. <laughs> that means you are sitting close to the trap of the enemy. And the enemy can strike. Anytime. Christian Marty Wasimi Bobangeli Retin We Lia Rio Taloa Mashora Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Those were the words of my Sunday school teacher. Hmm. As a child, I grew up knowing the importance of prayers in the life of a Christian. We live in a perverse world of uncertainties. But Christ, nailed on the cross for us, is our hope of glory. As a minister's wife, I do not cease to pray for my family and especially my beloved husband. For God's vessels are always despised by the devil. <laughs> but what would you do if you are betrayed by a trusted ally, would you seek revenge? Would you keep calm and allow him or her to destroy you? Would you run away? Remember, 2 Corinthians 10 verse 4 says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Hmm. None of these options will suffice if Christ truly is in you. Our trip to Texas was an eye-opener for me. Hmm. You 
don't sleep when you have a snake crawling in the ceiling of your apartment. Hey, you are not different from a person sitting on top of a gunpowder. For when it explodes, wow, the rest will become story. <laughs> a story you may not live to tell. But the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, our Comforter, the Paraclet, will always reveal the secrets of the hidden places. What happens when you suddenly discover that your closest associate has been your greatest enemy? Will you jump out of your skin and scream to God? Life goes on. Yes, life goes on. For the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. For the game is not of either will it or run it, but of God that showeth mercy. Hmm. Let us in our best ways possible gather the bits and pieces of the divided kingdom so that we can be united yes united yes united the united church scripturally portrays a body of christ that reigns victoriously in life through christ jesus by carrying out his total cancer on this planet earth Competitive jealousy is a vice, a virus, a king termite that destroys the root of your acceptable service before God. Remember, any sin committed against anyone made in the image of God and after its likeness is primarily against God because it is his law, status, and his cancer that is rubbish gradually by the same spirit that operates in Pastor James. Please, by the mercy of God, repent. The hand of God's mercy is stretched out to you to rescue you from this violence. You will finish well in Christ Jesus. The devil will not write the last chapter of your life. You are blessed. I have forgiven you. I have forgiven you. Mr. James, I have forgiven you. I have forgiven you. I have, I have already. I have already. God forgives me too. With your mouth, you left me. With your heart.